Today we are here to witness the launch of the uh, rocket, uh, which is work that has been happening over uh, about 24 months at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. And of course it involves uh, funding from the Department of Science and Innovation and we're working with a number of space entities including the National Space Agency, uh, we're working with DENEL and we're also working with uh, obviously here the collaboration with the Department of Defense. This is really just trying to demonstrate the capacity that we have as a country and we want to build it further so that we can really um, maintain our leadership in space science activities not only in the continent but globally. So we're launching two rockets this time, uh, Mark 2 today, it's about 18 kilometers and the Mark 1 with recovery tomorrow to about 6 kilometers. So the, the whole point of this program is to do human capital development, to tra train up engineers for this project, give uh, these people experience um, as well as to reach out um, and do some STEM, STEM outreach. Um, and once we've trained up a couple of en engineers, we have we've developed the, the, the capacity for rocketry within South Africa. Phoenix is basically a human skills development initiative. So we are committed as a research group to commercial launch in South Africa. But commercial launch, that's placing satellites into orbit from African soil. Commercial, so uh, commercial launch is an industry that requires human capital. It requires people. I've been with ASRAC for a year now. Uh, I worked on the Phoenix program as well, but I was just shadowing uh, one of our uh, control systems engineer, Shakar. And um, I've been, uh, I also worked on a ASRAC related project last year where we built a, a water rocket uh, demonstration kit, which we're going to use to uh, launch at uh, high schools to actually encourage students to take on. Um, uh, STEM careers uh, once they head out to tertiary. So in 2019 I was involved in the upgrades of the Phoenix 1B Mark 1. In that uh, project I was responsible for designing the recovery system because we want the Phoenix 1B Mark 1 vehicle to be a test platform so that it is re reusable to launch uh, to also carry experiments into space. And the fact that this rocket that we're launching was constructed and made by students actually shows what I was talking about, the potential and the capabilities that we have as a country in science. You know? And this should serve also as an example to young people. Work hard and study. You can also become a scientist. It's something that is very important. So yesterday was also another truly historical day for the programs, you know, of uh, our space agency. 